Jenny is finally releasing a new single, and yes, it's You and Me. She first started performing the song during the opening concert of Blackpink's World Tour in October of last year. The song took fans by surprise since it was something they hadn't heard before, and they expected the song to be released soon. Jenny then went on to perform a remix of the track during Blackpink's performances at Coachella 2023 and BST Hyde Park in July 2023. Now, when fans don't even know if Jenny will continue to be an idol under YG Entertainment, the company announced that they would finally release the studio version of You and Me. They released the title poster on October 4th, showcasing Jenny in a red dress, posing in front of the moon. The song will come out on October 6th, with YG saying that they're releasing the song as a thank you to the fans who supported the group during the tour. However, there's another question being raised here. Did Jenny renew with YG, or are they trying to milk any money that they can get out of the members? There's also a question whether they're doing this just to calm down the waters before they drop the sad news. Guess we'll find out soon. You Kiss member Hoon has shared some amazing news as he announced that he's becoming a father. He got married to former Girls Day member Huang Ji Sun in May of 2022, and on October 4th, he posted the news of his wife's pregnancy. He wrote that they had been hoping to have a child and joked that the baby already looks like him. Hoon promised to do the best as a father for his wife and his child so he can grow up healthy. Congratulations to the couple. Attract is taking legal action against the givers once again. On September 27th, Attract filed a 1 billion won lawsuit against the givers, on Sung Gil and Baek Jin Shil at the Seoul Central District Court. The lawsuit was filed due to alleged contract violations, deception, trust breaches, interference with the agency's work, and property damage. It seems like On Sung Gil, the CEO of The Givers, had a five-year contract with Attract to manage a new girl group project. Baek Jin Shil, an executive director at The Givers, also had responsibilities under this contract. Attract claimed significant losses due to trust breaches and embezzlement, which led to missed business opportunities, so they plan to increase the damages claimed in subsequent court proceedings. Attract said, The amount currently claimed for damages is only a portion of the total loss. We plan to expand the amount claimed during subsequent court proceedings. Commenters were happy to know that Attract are trying to get back the money they lost from the giver's backstabbing. They deserve it. Hwasa has been cleared of all the charges that were made against her for public indecency. As you all know, Hwasa was reported to the police by the Student Association back in May as they had complained about her performance at a festival held at Song Kwan University calling it too provocative. On October 4th, the Seoul Songdong police station officially announced that Hwasa had been cleared of any wrongdoings. The police stated that they conducted a thorough investigation into the performance's circumstances after questioning the accuser and ultimately dismissed the allegations. They explained their decision by saying that it's hard to stick with the initial criminal charges after their investigation. The majority of people were glad to hear the news, considering that if Hwasa ended up getting charged, it would be quite horrifying for K-pop idols. What would parents consider indecent next, and which idol would be getting sued for the tamest of moves. Another part of the public agreed that while the charges were too much, Hwasa's moves were indeed indecent. To these people, Hwasa should consider this as a warning and not quote-unquote go to the extremes. A commenter said, She did take it a little far. She should chill out a bit, especially at a university performance. It's kind of funny how men do all kinds of choreographies, and not only do they not get criticized, but they also get encouraged. Hwasa danced in front of a crowd full of adults, who saw no problem with what she did, yet she got hit with a lawsuit. Make it make sense. Spectrum member Hwarong has been accused of filming a drunk woman without her consent. Multiple reports came out on October 4th saying that Hwarong was facing charges for filming a woman while she didn't have her clothes on and without her consent as she was drunk. It's being reported that Hwarong and the woman allegedly first met in July of this year after talking to each other on social media. According to the All K-Pop report, they decided to meet somewhere in Seoul and then went to Hwarong's home. The woman, who was intoxicated, by the time they went home, fell asleep, and instead of Hwarong taking care of her, he allegedly took her clothes off without her consent and then filmed her even though she told him no multiple times. The media spoke to the woman who claims that she fell asleep drunk at Hwarong's house, and after she woke up, she noticed that she was being filmed by him. She went on to say, Though I was disoriented from the alcohol, I was scared and shook my hand telling him not to film. I was afraid Hwarong might share the video. The woman says that she was traumatized so much that she has severe anxiety whenever she she encounters camera lights. Because of what she went through, she decided to take legal action and even try to contact Wadong. Turns out that he has allegedly changed his phone number and only replied to her on social media, warning her that he would report her as a stalker. None of these claims have been confirmed or even addressed by Wadong's side, but his career is already taking a hit because of the accusations. After the incident, Wadong's parts in a recent web drama were removed and videos promoting him were made private. His social media profiles were also set to private and his manager 
management company is allegedly not addressing any questions regarding the allegations. People immediately jump to sympathize with the alleged victim, feeling bad about what she experienced. A Twitter user wrote, Traumatizing her to the point of getting anxiety every time she sees camera flashes, this man needs to be in prison. Again, these allegations aren't confirmed yet, but if they turn out to be true, we can only hope that the victim gets the justice they deserve and that this encourages other victims to come forward. Seungdi is involved in yet another scandal. This one's not even close to the Burning Sun one, but it's pretty bad. On October 4th, Dispatch published a report revealing a very complex situation involving Seungdi and two women referred to as Miss A and Miss B. According to the report, Seungdi went on a trip to Bali with both ladies. He initially traveled with Miss A and then met up with Miss B separately. It was said that Seungdi was in a relationship with Miss A since September 1st and had planned a trip to Bali from September 21st to September 25th, which Miss A agreed to. However, Miss A isn't the only woman Seungdi was in a relationship with. He rekindled a previous relationship with Miss B as they had run into each other only a week after him and Miss A had started dating. They kept in touch after that and messaged each other regularly, even going to dinner together with Seungdi's girlfriend. The two women became friends, even following each other on Instagram and exchanging messages. In an attempt to win over Miss B, Seungdi had told her that he broke up with his girlfriend and insisted that she give their relationship another shot. While this is a disaster in itself, it seems like Seungdi is overall bad at cheating because he planned a second trip with Miss B from September 25th to September 28th, going the extra mile so the two wouldn't end up meeting. Miss A would visit Bali and leave before Miss B arrived. However, there was a problem as both Miss A and Miss B had identical plans. They booked the same accommodations, restaurants, and cafes. This is how Miss B figured it out and confronted Seungdi. What Seungdi didn't remember was that both ladies were acquainted and followed each other on Instagram. They even planned the Bali trip together. Adding a twist to the story, Miss B took a photo of a remorseful Seungdi and sent it to Miss A. Miss B told Dispatch, I confirmed that Seungdi was two-timing me and then immediately left. Seungdi went to the club the next day. He never reflects on his actions. He will never change. Miss B confronted Seungdi and expressed just how angry she was that he had treated both women like they were dumb. There were some netizens that are asking news outlets and media to stop publishing any more stories about Seungdi. Whether they're positive or negative ones, they're arguing that after leaving Big Bang in the idol life, Seungdi is a mere commoner and there's no reason why we should be hearing about him. There were variations of we don't care about him comments from them, emphasizing their distaste for Seungdi. However, there are some netizens and commenters who found it hard to sympathize with the ladies since they dated him despite knowing what kind of a person he was. A commenter wrote, if the girls want me to feel bad for them, I don't. Seungdi has proven over and over that he is a disgusting person and why would you want to date this man anyway? Another pointed out that even before the Burning Sun scandal, Seungdi had cheating allegations and had proved himself to be a man you wouldn't want to date. Some people are just mad that Seungdi is free and can vacation in Bali like he didn't just ruin the lives of a lot of women, but well, it's not like we expected much of the Korean justice system. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye!